welcome back to my channel and today's video i hope you're doing well thank you for joining me today's video i really appreciate you and if you're new welcome this is moon i'm a perfume lover and reviewer and here on my channel i talk about perfumes and beautiful scents so if you're interested in my content please make sure to like comment and of course subscribe as it really helps support my channel and now without further ado let's get started so you guys today's topic i thought it could be an interesting and fun one and of course it's gonna be about my top 10 perfumes from my perfume collection that blew my mind away at first sniff or at first smell and, uh, and the first one that i'm going to talk about is a fragrance from helian house and this fragrance called adult so why adults blew my mind away when i first tried it because i found it very very unique you guys uh when i looked up the notes online i really liked the notes it has notes of fig and i love i like fig notes so much i love to eat this fruit i love to smell it and i also love it so much in fragrances and um i also saw some um woody notes and i'm a huge fan of woody uh, notes like cedarwood sandalwood and this fragrance you guys really really surprised me right away detected that fig note and here smells very creamy very sweet and very delicious and yummy and uh the base of that sandalwood um you know the cedarwood and sandalwood made it very very unique and there is a note here also made this fragrance very very creamy and i love creamy fragrances so much so it's truly a very unique composition and i haven't tried uh, or i haven't smelled anything similar to this uh, fragrance and i think um this killian fragrance is my favorite from this line uh beside princess i think uh so yes i think adults and princess are my favorite um my favorites from this line but i think i like this one a little bit more than princess because it really really smells unique so you guys truly if you're looking for a, a very sophisticated fragrance uh that has a character and you know stands on its own but smells very very beautiful and very seductive also because um, really this especially in the dry down smells very very you know seductive and addicting you know yeah just check out this one absolutely stunning fragrance from killian house and of course it blew my mind away at first smell so again this was adults by killian the second fragrance on my list is going to be a fragrance from uh, victor and ralph house and it's a flanker from uh, the famous flower bomb and i'm talking about flower bomb do and i've talked about this fragrance you guys in my top 10 spring um, fragrances video as uh, a new addition to my collection of course but you guys why this fragrance blew my mind away because i've heard many many negative reviews on it to be honest and uh, it really surprised me this is wasn't a blind buy i've tried it um at uh, sephora the other day it was like two months ago and uh, i just saw it in front of me and i was like okay i'm gonna try it anyways but i knew i i'm not gonna like it at all because of that bad reviews on it but when i first smelled it you guys oh my goodness i was like why why it has bad reviews it really smells very beautiful it smells very feminine from the first spritz it smells very um very creamy you know yeah it's oh my goodness you guys it smells so stunning and very feminine and very very creamy it has that you know lotiony consistency um like you know body lotions that has a very very luxurious smell this is when you first spray it and then um the dry it down of course it has a flower balm dna but i would say this is the softer version of flower balm and this is the version that you can wear it every day daytime of course spring and summertime absolutely stunning it has also a creamy accord to it uh sweet creamy if you can imagine um the smell of white chocolates you know if you like to smell the white chocolates 
really that right down reminds me of those expensive white chocolates oh, and, that makes and I highly recommend it because it's so underrated no one talks about it unfortunately but it's really really beautiful you guys so uh, this was my second one flower bomb do by Victor Adroff so next one on my list I have a fragrance from Lalique House and why this fragrance blew my mind away because it has some notes that I don't like at all but when I first smelt it, it really surprised me in a good way because I find it very unique also and I found those notes that I don't like that much made uh, very very well so um, I'm talking about uh, Soleil by Lalique with this um, artistic, uh, beautiful, gorgeous um, bottle my goodness you guys, just the packaging alone just sold me the fragrance because uh, I was like, I'm gonna get it no matter how this fragrance smells like because I want to own this masterpiece bottle it's very heavy, it's very thick my goodness you guys, absolutely stunning packaging and as I said when I first smelled it I was like, wow I was like, wow, this fragrance is very very unique because this is supposed to be a a citrusy summery fragrance, citrusy gourmand summer fragrance. So I wasn't, um, I didn't get that concept that much to be honest. But how come it's, it's a citrusy and gourmand fragrance that could be work um, in summer days, you know? But it really surprised me, my goodness, you guys. This smells very, very unique. Uh, it has some uh, spices uh, notes, I think like um, cardamom. I'm not a huge fan of cardamom also, but sometimes um, this note makes the fragrance lean more to the masculine side. But here, it's really done right. Very well blended fragrance. It uh, smells like orange, um, orange juice, just um, you know, freshly squeezed orange juice with some spices like cardamom. I can smell a hint of coffee also. And it's very, uh, it's not very sweet, but it has some sweetness of that pear note in here. It has also two heavy sweet notes like um, praline and yeah, and caramel, I think. Yes, uh, but um, surprisingly, this fragrance is not very sweet at all. Um, just a perfect sweetness, very unique, mature, grown up scent, I would say. This is for the grown up taste and uh, it really surprised me at first sniff how come this fragrance is very unique like this how come it's sweet and gourmand but still very wearable during you know hot weather so just a masterpiece you guys the bottle the juice inside the bottle everything about this fragrance really blew my mind away highly recommend it of course if you're looking for a unique sophisticated summer scent very um, beautiful also you guys because this is has a very very good performance this is last on my skin for so long and sillage also is very amazing so i highly recommend it of course and this was uh lalique soleil and the next one on my list is a fragrance from kayali house or kayali brand and this fragrance you guys was an immediate love at first sniff for me and I'm talking about Kayali Vanilla. You guys, uh, first of all, at the beginning, I thought this fragrance is going to be a generic sweet vanilla scent that I can layer it with any fragrance in my collection. To be honest, I thought that, but I got it anyways, but I decided to get it anyways because I was so curious about it. And also I've heard many, many reviews, uh, good ones about it. So I got it. I think it was a yes it was a blind buy and it really really surprised me my goodness you guys this is, smells very very delicious very sweet but it's very seductive and sexy at the same time um you have to appreciate very sweet fragrances to love this fragrance because it has many sweet notes it has uh, orchid vanilla it has tonka beans amber uh, and also uh, the very unique note in this fragrance and really this brown sugar note made all the difference in this fragrance smells very very unique uh, I'm not a huge fan of sugary or sugar note in fragrances uh, the white sugar but here this brown sugar note smells very very unique you guys amazing amazing fragrance I love to wear it 
uh, on its own, of course, and I also like to layer it as I and said, highly recommend it if you're a vanilla lover. This fragrance really should be in your collection, you guys. And um, I wanna tell you a killer combo that I just discovered uh, this past two weeks. And I have been wearing these two layering combo together non-stop now and I've been complimented so many times with this layer layering combo uh, which is this one with uh, Lalique Soleil you guys you need these two in your life you need so as I said I like to wear this fragrance during uh, summer time during daytime during but night time I love to layer it with this fragrance because it really takes it to another level it makes it even more sweet more delicious and i don't know why when i did it was kayali vanilla uh, it made the milk note in soleil amped up and shows up uh, in a very delicious and creamy and mouth watering way just a killer combo you guys highly recommend it just love them together and the last compliment that I got from these uh, two together um, was like two days ago. I was at the grocery store and then an old man, he was like in his 60 or something, stopped me and he literally told me that um, I'm a pretty woman and I smell attractive. <laughs> so he was an old sweet man and I love his his compliments so yes uh, just try them together you guys highly recommend it especially during uh, you know daytime nighttime amazing even if you're going to a vacation or something amazing you guys together so this was um, Kayali Vanilla layering with uh, Lalique Soleil and the next one on my list I have a fragrance from Giorgio Armani house and you guys the moment that I have smelt this fragrance first time I was like I need this fragrance in my life right now and I'm talking about C Passion by Giorgio Armani the red one guys I really don't get the hate on this fragrance because I absolutely adore it to me this is a floral fruity fragrance yes but it's very unique and it's very different and it really smells so sophisticated and very very feminine to me or to my taste uh, that's why I love it so much. Performance also is very very good. I don't have anything neg negative to say about this fragrance. This is, smells a very refreshing, very smells smells like happiness to me. <laughs> Many notes like grapefruits, pineapple, uh, gr uh, and also has black currant, which here smells very very juicy and beautiful and unique. And that pink pepper note in the opening makes it smells like you know sparkly smelling you know i think it has on the wood if i'm not mistaken but it's just a very unique composition very beautiful very easy to wear no brain or scent i just absolutely love it and it was an immediate immediate love at first sniff so again this was C passion by Giorgio armani and next one i have a fragrance from muggler house and uh, i'm talking about the most famous fragrance from this house actually and this is alien by muggler uh, you know me i love and adore alien uh, i love it so much you guys and this is really really surprised me when i first smelt it um the first fragrance that i have tried from this uh brand was angel and i didn't like it at all i actually hated it so much and um i've worn it for so long uh i owned a bottle of angel but and i didn't um, like it at all <laughs> but i had to wear it because it was a gift you know so yes maybe that's why i was so scared to try any other fragrance from Mugler house and that's why also when i have uh, smelled this fragrance i was like I was so wrong I was so wrong I shouldn't judge um, a whole brand because of one fragrance you know this really so yes. blew my mind away you guys this is to me smells like the most unique amber and jasmine uh, scent I have ever ever smelled this is to die for this is this fragrance and this juice screams uniqueness to me absolutely adore it amazing this is so gorgeous I love Alien so much. I have tried many, many flankers 
uh, but uh, to me my favorite one or my best one and the one that gonna stay in my collection forever the original one and again this was alien by Mugler and next one it's a fragrance from perfumes the Marley house and uh, this fragrance I've talked about it a lot and it was a flying by also and I'm talking about a Delina exclusive of course you guys um, I've held this fragrance on my channel a long time ago and I've made a first impression on the camera and as soon as I have smelled this fragrance I was like I found my dream scent and when I really? smelled it uh, I was sold you know I was like okay this is my dream scent this has everything that I have wished in a fragrance um, absolutely stunning rosy sweet very unique scent very realistic very oriental very very creamy and smooth and well blended it's just amazing i'm not gonna talk about it a lot but you guys um to me this is could be my top top favorite rosy fragrance created ever and of course it blew my mind away when i first smelt it so again this is the lino exclusive by perfume de marley and next one i think this is number eight uh, because I have this and two more and uh, I think it's also a new addition to my collection yes I just got it maybe four weeks ago and it really surprised me it was um, it was a blind buy and it really surprised me you guys because it smelled divine it really smelled divine and I'm talking about um, Orchid Vanny by Van Cleave and Arcos yes I've heard great great reviews on it but still when i first smelt it it really surprised me because of how soft this fragrance is how beautiful is. how feminine how sweet and delicious and gorgeous um vanilla dark chocolate mandarin orange uh, in the opening it makes it a little bit fresh smelling and then if you can imagine a dark chocolate uh, filled with mandarin orange and um some vanilla and some roses in it you know it just smells very very beautiful very cozy and comforting but delicious and mouth watering it really smells so stunning uh, if you're if you're a vanilla lover also if you like those uh naturally sweet uh, comforting uh, but uh, very too easy to wear at the same time uh, and you could also wear it all year round not all not only for cold weather definitely check this one out you guys but i have to mention that the sillage is not that great so this is not a beast mode or anything it's gonna create only a small scent bubble around you and only people around you gonna smell it and that's it uh, it has a soft sillage uh, but um, I still absolutely love it. I don't care. The longevity is good also. This is last on my skin maybe six to seven hours and of course more if you spray your clothing. Stunning, stunning fragrance you guys. Highly recommended of course if you're a gourmand lover. And again this was Orchid Vanny by Van Cleave and Arfels. And now in number nine I have a fragrance from Lancome House that I really love and adore and I can't get enough of it. And it's actually an old one, it's not a new one or anything, but I absolutely love it and it was an immediate love at first sniff also, of course. And I'm talking about Trezor Midnight Rose. Guys, this fragrance really blew my mind away at first smell because it smelled very, very uh, rosy, sweet, yet feminine and romantic scent. Um, big fan of rose, of course, and I love this uh, rose raspberry composition together and here in this fragrance is just done right very amazing it has a hint of spiciness uh, i think it has a pink pepper note also but it just smells very unique in this fragrance it has also some peony so it smells also a little bit powdery and the base of the uh, the vanilla and musk and sandalwood just to die for you guys absolutely stunning this in my collection an amazing amazing um, Jamie Rose fragrance um, very unique of course because it's from one of my favorite houses which is Lancome Lancome knows how to do a 
very romantic and feminine and seductive sense in my opinion and this is of course one of the best um so yes absolutely stunning fragrance you guys and you know i love this fragrance so much so again this was Trezor Midnight Rose by Lancome and now the last but not least is a fragrance that i have raved about it a lot on my channel but i just can't help it you guys because i absolutely love it and now i'm super happy this fragrance is getting more uh, famous now on youtube and getting more attention now many many of my friends actually got it and they loved it so much and also i always always get uh, messages on instagram from my lovely subscribers and followers telling me that they have loved this fragrance so much it's just a hidden gem and yes you guys this is amouage love tube rose um this fragrance is not a it wasn't a blind buy uh i've tested first i've tested the whole collection uh the secret garden collection i think from amouage and this one the only one that really blew my mind away when i first smelt it so you guys really i'm telling you now if you are a tube rose lover you need to check this one out you need to test it uh, i think also it's a sublime buy if you are a lover of the tube rose note and also if you like sweet gourmand very creamy scents i think this is could be a sublime buy for you just an amazing white floral um the main white florals in here uh, as i said is tube rose and also has some jasmine and has some gardenia and they are smelling so fresh and so realistic in the opening but then uh, when it dries down now you can smell this whipped cream note that smells very very uh very delicious and very rich you know it has that um deliciousness vibe to it it's just an amazing you're gonna love to eat your rest you know when you're wearing this fragrance is that beautiful is that um delicious and gourmand very unique at the same time because uh it has also some sandalwood in the uh, background makes it very unique it's not only a childish or girly gourmand white floral scent at all it smells mature and grown because um i think it's because of it's from a wash house of course and also because of that sandalwood base makes it very very unique you guys very mature very grown up an amazing one was love at first snap for me i still recommend it to you especially this time of the year is going to be amazing uh, daytime nighttime also performance is very very good this is very long lasting on my skin and siage also is happy i would uh, say because it's just amazing and performs very very well so again this was uh, my love and my love to rose so you guys this was my top 10 love at first snap perfumes in my collection i really hope that you have enjoyed today's topic and today's choices and now you're gonna leave me in the comments what fragrances made your mind blown. and also you're gonna tell me why uh yeah i'm just so curious to know and thank you again so much you guys for watching me thank you for supporting my videos on my channel thank you for your likes and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye!